Foster care myth. I could never let them go. Maybe you saw my last video, should I be a foster parent? And you thought, I just could never let these kids go. Well, we've been foster parents since 2006. This is the number one concern. I just couldn't let them go, so I couldn't be a foster parent. Well, today we're gonna address that. Ready? Let's do this. Since being licensed, we've had kids for years, multiple kids that have left our home, kids for two years, kids for two and a half years, and each time it is excruciating. It is so hard to let these kids go. Each one has value and worth. Each one has its own unique gifts and skills, and they are still a part of our family, a part of our hearts. Nothing will change that, regardless of how long they came into our care. So why do kids leave our care? There's three reasons. Number one is they get reunified with their birth families. This means that the original family gets restored, they get services, and that family is renewed and reconnected together, which I just want to remind you that's the goal of foster care is reunification of that traditional family. And number two, it is that they go with a kinship caregiver. So basically what this would be would be maybe a grandparent or an aunt or an uncle. It could be a neighbor, someone that's in that child's community and already knows that child. And number three is a child will go on to be adopted somewhere else. So why don't we just adopt them all? First, when we got licensed originally in 2006, our goal was not adoption. Our goal was to just foster kids, to be able to be a loving, safe place for kids to come that would need a home temporarily. And number two is we pray and we fast as believers for which child comes into our home and whether we are called to keep that child permanently. So sometimes God just doesn't give us grace to adopt a particular child. That doesn't mean we don't want to. It doesn't mean that we don't love that child or that we love it less than maybe a child that we have given birth to or that we have adopted. What it means that maybe God just hasn't given us the energy or the strength or the unity in our family to move forward and to say yes to a forever child. And so we just want to follow where he leads that doesn't mean that we don't sit and look through albums and pictures and weep over these kids or stay up at night and pray for them. It just means that God doesn't give us grace to adopt and that he has a different plan and that we need to just say yes and be obedient and to trust his plans above ours. So how do you let them go? Imagine someone that you love dearly. It could be a grandparent. It could be a friend. It could be maybe you had a pet growing up or someone that you just adored with all your heart. And then imagine that person not being in your life. What are the thoughts that come through your head? My guess is one of the first thoughts is, I could never let that person go. It's heartbreaking. It's excruciating to even think about. That's how we feel about these foster kids. Number one, you choose to love and then you choose to love over and over again. You sacrifice your own physical emotions and feelings for the sake of the good of another human being. Imagine someone in your past that has gone on, that has uh, maybe passed away. And what have you done? Did you stay closed up and, and, and um, tighten your heart and say, I'm never going to love again because it hurt when I lost them? Or did you make the choice to love? And my question is, wasn't it worth it? Would you have changed that time that you loved that person and said, I, I, I would have been happier if that didn't happen or I never experienced a relationship with that person so that I could protect my heart? No, what did you do? You went out and you loved again. And that is foster care. Despite the hurt and the pain, it was better to have loved and to keep our heart open than to have never loved these kids in the first place. Number two is love is greater than grief. We believe as foster parents in the power of love. We have seen it redeem lives. We have seen it transform the children that have been in our care. And we know that it is stronger. Love is stronger than pain. It's stronger than grief. It's stronger than anger or bitterness or frustration. And so we choose love over and over because we have seen its redemptive qualities. Yes, it's not something that's always easy to do, but we make up our mind to focus on what was good, on the times that we had with our kids, 
on the transformation that we've seen. We choose to rise up and stand up and do it again because at the end of the day, it's really not about us. It's about these kids and about sacrificing our life and our time and our energy for the greater good of blessing kids that are in care. Number three, and this is the biggest one, is that God gives you grace exactly when you need it. Imagine something you've done in the past and you thought, I will never ever achieve that. And you know that there was something greater helping and assisting you. That is what it's like when we have to let these kids go. It is heartbreaking. It is excruciating and it is painful. But there is something supernatural that comes to help and assist us in that moment of loss. If he's called you to foster care, he will equip you through it. It is all by his power, his grace, and his mercy, and he will see you through it. He will carry you through those moments that you think that you cannot go on. And he will lead, and he will direct, and he will guide you as you listen, and you connect, and you depend on him. Grace isn't something that we earn. It's undeserved and unmerited favor from the Lord to give you what you need and when you need it. The way that I see it, it's like a steep mountain. You're climbing up at your hands and your feet are in position. However, you're leaning on your own strength. And if you fall, you will come crashing down and likely it will be fatal. But then imagine that same mountain, the same steep cliff. Your hands and your feet are in position. However, there is a harness wrapped around you. It is firm and it is secure. And if you fall, there is a father up above who holds the rope that will hold you secure and he will pull you to where you need to go. That is like walking in grace. And we have grace as foster parents because his heart is for the orphans. It's for the needy. It's for the poor and the outcast. And so we can trust in him. He will give us grace. And that is the third way that we are able to let these kids go. And finally, don't not foster because you think you can't let these kids go because love is a choice. Love is so much stronger than loss or grief or our own feelings. God's grace will sustain you as you say yes to this calling. These kids, they're amazing and they need committed adults to walk with them through hard seasons. They will change your life even more than you think you can change theirs. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe below, like it and share it with your friends. And remember, go out, live bold and be brave.